Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Sharia. I hope so. All of you are doing well. Uh, and I've been um, tutoring AMC doctors for the last five years. So I'll try to give you a few quick tips from my ex exam experience and from my students' exam experience. So far, I've dealt with almost like, um, I mean, more than 400 students have already, I mean, clear from our academy already. So I hope so these tips would be useful for all of you. All right, so um, so let's just see a few things. I mean, uh, for the exam candidates. So these tips are particularly for the exam candidates, actually. So let's go and see for the first one. The first one is never study at the end one topic for too much time because you don't have that much time. So if you want to take more time for one particular topic, it should be early. I mean, it may be if you start preparing uh, four months back. So in that time, you know, you take more time. but I have a suggestion actually, try and never uh, take uh, 30 minutes for one topic, then switch to another. And then later you can come back to the topic for spending. So sometimes it just happened, we spend too much time on one topic and the whole day become lost. I mean, waste, I mean, a particular time actually. So keep switching uh, different topics. I mean, is a key to success and we need the bulk. We don't need this one topic thing actually. So when you keep switching topic, you can study more hours. So more hours study is a key to success. Now there's a, like um, tip number two, as you can see, that's uh, new recall plus old recall. Some doctors has a, have a habit. They just solve new recalls actually. Okay, what's coming in this forum? What's coming in Sherry's MC guideline? What is coming in MEDX? So they are just looking forward to, I mean, new uh, recall actually, actually, but that's not a good healthy practice all the time. You also need to secure your, like say, if you're thinking if you're in a war, you will be definitely doing the attack. But at the same time, you also need to save your own uh, palace actually. Otherwise the enemy will come and destroy that one. The same way you should um, think like, you know, you should secure the one you already know, then move forward looking for the new attack it's in that war zone actually. So the bulk that matters actually, the total power that matters actually before going to exam then uh, in, in the last days, I mean, try to solve this example. If you are a November um, candidate, in that case, you maybe were solving uh, August file. So at the last days, and especially in last 10 days, I mean, try to solve one month file per one day. That's my tip. So one month file. So recall at the end is more important. Theory plus recall plus mock plus question banks, that is the way to proceed actually. If someone tell you question bank is the only thing to prepare, that's the wrong statement. I mean, for some people it's correct. I mean, they might are too good a student, already have experience in exams like MRCP and some of the competitive exam they have passed. So for some people it's different actually. So different person is different for, for general people, like I'm talking about 75% people, uh, they need actually theory, recall, mock, and uh, Christian Bank uh, doing on some co online courses are also very popular AMC. If you're a PLAP candidate, you might not need that much courses, but uh, AMC is more tougher level exam. So some cases you might need courses actually. But anyways, the, this is the tip number three. I mean, uh, one month solve file, you know, I'm talking about solve file. You should do uh, per one day. So in the last, at the end, if you see, don't think to finish one particular month file in one day, if you haven't solved it before. So already solved file, you know, in last 10 days, try to solve it actually in one particular day, one file of a particular month, actually, if it is a solved file, actually. Our, our Shares Medical Academy can help you with that one. So, I mean, moving forward to now. So this is the tip number three. So one month file uh, in one day you need to finish, which is a solved file. Number four, avoid using too many resources. Now, the days progresses, there will be more and more new resources will come for AMC. Some doctors have a habit uh, yes, maybe new resources are always tempting. I mean, uh, even if I think myself as a student, sometimes even if even if I am a tutor, a popular tutor, I still find a new resource. Sometimes you know it's always a matter of interest, but that's not the thing. Your own confidence, whatever you have prepared, that's the main thing matters in the exam actually. So avoid using too many resources. I mean, especially at the end, always try not to use too many resources whatever you have, you try to stick to it and find out some of the new things and also find out those, I mean, solve those, those you haven't solved. As I talking about lastly, the diary you maintained and some of the printout you take, which you are not show, try to solve them first actually, then go for the next one and keep revising the previous things actually. So avoid using too many resources. 
I can give you an example. Uh, one of my students, I won't take the name, but he was a very good student and I was expecting he'll get very good mark, but somehow he failed the exam. So we, me, uh, other tutor were also concerned. We always give students uh, chances to rejoin again, I mean, without any uh, extra costing. I mean, we are always nice to our you know, students. Um, so we are helping him as well, but uh, what went wrong? Say, a aeroplane do crash. It's one of the safest vehicles, it still do crash. So of course, we are not as good as like aeroplane, uh, of course, but uh, we have very good passing rate, like 95, 96% passing rate. So a good caliber student like him, we were not expecting to have. And then we figure out, I talked to him multiple times, other uh, teachers also asked him, like then we figure out at the end that, you know, he didn't mention, but he used too many resources actually. He said he used like these, that, these, that, different question bank, different institutional notes. And, you know, at the end it happens that it ended up with, I mean, he was not sure probably about the choosing the answer because certain notes, you know, institution and institution might vary. Uh, I won't say, you know, always like with best, but, you know, since we have like five years of experience, we are more correct, especially on the recall things, actually. So try to follow one particular, whatever institution you would right now, I mean, you should try to follow them more, actually, that's my suggestion. All right. And lastly, um, another thing, and same advice goes to that doctor as well. He was everywhere, actually, at the end. So stick to one or two particular Facebook forum and not whole day, keep like one hour, one and a half hour for the Facebook forum separately. That will help you actually, all right? Like you also need to see the Facebook forum, like Sherry SMC guideline is a good group. New questions are being uploaded. You can see that one. Apart from Sherry SMC guideline, I usually talk about MEDX. That's a good Facebook forum. You can also go through that one as well. So these are the five most important topic which I wanted to give you guys suggestion so good luck to all the doctors uh, and those have passed like almost like 400 student passed so congratulations to them uh, 70 doctors have secured job already um, um, 50 of them uh, secured job after mc1 so congratulations to them and also those cleared mc2 and you know already secured the job also congrats to them and good luck to all those doctors who are studying under us and all the other candidates who even not our students always we're open up for helping anyone uh, our Facebook groups is very active, so do participate. Thank you so much. Have a good day. This is Dr. Sherry.